If you're confused about all the USB Thunderbolt specs and just want to add high speed ports to connect to all your devices with just one cable, this OWC Thunderbolt dock is the dock you need to check out. Hi, this is David of tech baba Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's unbox this Thunderbolt 4 dock from OWC. Check out its many features, set it up on my desk so I can charge my MacBook, connect it to my monitor, various external storage devices, wire network, and other peripherals all with just one cable. The dock comes in a box printed with a lot of information and a glossy dock on the top. Cool. Inside the box, there's the dock Underneath, a spec sheet, the one cable we need to make all the connections, a rather beefy power supply, that's it. Let's look at the dock in more detail. It's a good looking dock. It has a gray aluminum side all around. Piano black plastic on both the top and the bottom. There are four rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. There's an OWC logo in the center on the top. It measures about 8 inches long by 3 inches wide and 1 inch thick. It has a good weight to it, about 14 ounces. What makes this OWC dock special is its four high-speed 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 4 ports. There's one in the front which can also charge the connected host computer at up to 96 watts. Just right for fast charging my M1 Max MacBook Pro and much more than enough to charge an M1 or M2 MacBook Air. By the way, the older version of the dock can only charge up to 90 watts. Glad OWC increased it on this latest hub to fully support what my M1 Max MacBook Pro needs. At first I thought it's easier for this port to be in the front, but since I don't need to keep on plugging and unplugging the cable from this end, I think it's actually better for it to be on the side or on the back so the front is clear of cables. There's this little hole just above the port for the OWC clean-on to stabilize and secure the connection further if needed. The other three downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports are on the back. These ports are certified compatible to both Macs and PCs. On the back, there are also three USB 3.2 10 gigabit per second ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, and power input for the dock. On the front, there's a SD card slot, a USB 2.0 port, and an audio input output port in addition to the Thunderbolt uplink port we already talked about. Nothing on the left side, but there are slots for Kensington and Nano security cables on the right. One thing to note is this dock doesn't have an HDMI port nor a display port. Thunderbolt to HDMI or display port adapters and cables, which are quite affordable, will be needed to connect to these devices. I'll have links to some of them in the description below. OWC chose this 4 Thunderbolt port design on this hub for maximum flexibility in connectivity. Okay, here's how I have been using the OWC Thunderbolt hub in my setup for the last few weeks. I like how the logo lights up when it's plugged in. It glows white with power and turns blue when the host device is connected. I have the front Thunderbolt port connected to my M1 Max MacBook Pro. On the back, I have one Thunderbolt port connected to my 32 inch LG 4K monitor, another Thunderbolt port connected to a Sabre and Thunderbolt external drive, and the last port connected to my QNAP Thunderbolt NAS. I also have the Ethernet port connected, and an USB A port connected to my mechanical keyboard. With Blackmagic Speed Test, the Sabrent 2TB Thunderbolt drive connected through the hub, I get a bit over 1500 megabytes per second write, and almost 2600 megabytes per second read. When I connect the Sabrent drive to the MacBook Pro directly, 
the write speed is quite a bit faster at over 2200 megabytes per second. And the read speed is about the same at almost 2600 megabytes per second. If you're interested in various fast external drives that's much more affordable than the internal storage these days, check out the playlist I'll link here and put in the description below. I also tested the speed of the SD card reader using a V90 SD card rated for 250 megabytes per second write and 300 megabytes per second read. I get about 250 megabyte per second write and 260 megabyte per second read, which is great. Many docs have slower SD card readers, but this one is fast. Even faster than the one on my MacBook Pro at about 227 megabytes per second write and 251 megabyte per second read. By the way, if you find any part of this video helpful so far, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. At about $300 US, this dock isn't cheap, but it's priced comparably to similar docks. There are discounts from time to time in the link I'll put in the description below. Now, if you only have USB devices and don't need the Thunderbolt connections, check out this link to a much more affordable but unique 10-in-1 USB hub that also has a built-in SSD enclosure. The OWC Thunderbolt dock may just be nice to have for the M1 MacBook Pros since all the ports are now back. But for laptops or even desktop with just a couple of ports like the M2 or M1 MacBook Air, it's almost a must have. In any case, the best feature the OWC dock offers me is this. I can disconnect this one cable and take my laptop on the go or around the house. When I return to my desk, I can connect my laptop to a charger, a big monitor, a stable ethernet, a fast external drive, a massive NAS storage device, my mechanical keyboard, and more. You got it. All with just this one cable. Thanks for watching. Do you use the hub? Let me know your favorite one in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. Check out this video next on how to build a fast and affordable Thunderbolt drive. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment. Thanks to OWC for sending this out for me to try and share with you.